and for uh, the Social Health Insurance Act to function properly, then we must have the quality of care bill. Now, once this quality of care is in place, we will be able to have the hospitals or the health facilities, uh, the empanelment of the health facilities. That means they will be inspected and once they pass the test, they automatically become part and parcel or in the panel of the Social Health, um, Social Health Act. That is why we are here and uh, we hope to finish this work as soon as possible. Remember, in the, we are already going on with the public participation in the country for the Social Health Act. So it makes it easy once we have the, the quality of care in place so that they can go in tandem and we will be able to help the people of this country in good time. We in health, we are looking for available, accessible and affordable quality health care. And that is the tagline that we are having. Because every citizen requires quality care. It is not just about the infrastructure. It is not just about the equipment or even the human resources. But it is also the quality of that infrastructure, the quality of the human resource, the quality of the equipment, and the overall quality of care that is given to every individual in this country. This is an addition of what is already existing. We have the, the Social Health Act that is in place and the public participation is going on. However, for the Social Health Act to, to work properly, we need the quality of care that will be in the, uh, the health facilities. Remember, we need better structures in those facilities. We need uh, qualified staff in those facilities. We also need better equipment in those facilities and the overall general approach to a patient. So it is not just about the insurance that you may have, but the, it is also about what, how are patients treated in these hospitals. And that is why we have to come up with the act on how the health facilities must uh, behave or how they will be to ensure that they are giving the required attention to every other patient. Should, there, should, they, they, should they be accredited, then they automatically join the panel. They get the empanelment into SHA. Every other year, we are producing human resources for health. From all the campuses, from all the, the KMTCs that we have, this year alone, actually, end of last year, we had uh, 22,000 graduates from KMTC alone. Not counting private, uh, private colleges, universities that are also training for the same. So we cannot speak about uh, draining human resources from the country when we are still producing and actually of, over producing. So what we need to do is to also ensure that we have a range of human resources that are adaptable to our local and international employment. Otherwise, we will be doing a lot of injustice. If we have people in the streets who are not employed and we, are, we still want to deny them opportunities abroad, so we will stick uh, the indulgence uh, and a conversation uh, I am sure probably it was a um, lack of data which we can provide so that we are able to be on the same wavelength. I don't think it's a problem really um, because we have the data and we have uh, meetings where we meet. We will be able to explain to them and I'm sure this is not an issue per se. We have gone to facilities where we have dilapidated uh, equipment that um, may give even wrong diagnosis and this is what we are trying to cure that at the end of the day we will not we will reduce the mortality rate because of uh, the right diagnosis for the diseases and people can be treated by the right people we don't want um, maybe a physician 
doing the work of uh, a gynecologist and, and vice versa. So we may want to streamline and this will come with the health facilities employing or occupying the right places, having the right equipment and updated ones and, and uh, having the right human resource to occupy the 